Hey guys, welcome back to our Head Game Soupy series. In this episode, we're gonna give you a sneak peek into the porting room, and we're gonna bust a few myths that there are about porting. Hope you enjoy. First myth is gasket matching. Most people assume that opening up the port to the gasket gains airflow, but in fact, it can hurt airflow. When a gasket is designed, they're not considering the optimal port dimensions for airflow. Their job is simple, to make it seal. Opening up the port just at the flange slows airspeed because now the port is bell-mouthed and the rest of the port cannot support it. At Head Games, we do not believe that bigger is better. We start by grinding the port and then we measure the size of the port for the correct cross-sectional area. Here's a comparison of the intake ports, OEM versus the head games port. You will notice that it's been ported, but it hasn't been made as big as you can make it. Same with the exhaust ports, OEM versus the head games port. So don't get lost in thinking that bigger is better just because the gasket shows it's possible. The Subaru port entrances are actually very close to optimal size right out of the box. When you're considering airspeed and flow, shape is much more important than size. Next myth of porting is making the bowl too big. The bowl is the area under the valve seats, also known as the curtain area. This is the most crucial area of the port. When you make it too big, it decreases airflow instead of increasing it. The Subaru is more sensitive in this area than other applications. Small changes in this area can equal big losses in airflow and power. Also, if you make this area too big, you won't be able to get a good valve job on the head. I hate to repeat myself, but remember guys, bigger isn't always better. Don't get me wrong, we still grind the bowl, but we don't hog it out. We measure the port to make sure it's opened up to the perfect size, which is a percentage of the size of the valve. During the R&D process, the valve job is perfected to this percentage as well. The head goes on the flow bench to test that airflow is exactly where we want it made. More on this later, where we'll show you the stock size valve versus an oversized valve. And the last myth of porting is removing the fin from the port. Most people assume that taking out more material increases airflow. However, once again, it actually takes airspeed out of the port. When you slow down airspeed, it's like taking the wind out of your sail. Removing the fin hurts the port so bad, it can actually be hurt on the flow bench. Because we do so much testing, we know that ports love fins. In fact, the more the merrier. Subaru fins increase airspeed, which translates to more airflow and more horsepower. Here's the OEM port. You can see that Subaru has a fin from the factory. At Head Games, we enhance this fin by removing material on each side. Simply changing the shape adds more airflow and airspeed for the best combination to make power. You can see the OEM head versus our Head Games ported head. It's beautiful, isn't it? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and leave a comment below and stay tuned for our next Subi video.